So, it seems like your ISP, aka your government, has blocked off some of your favorite sites or services, which the latest happened to Indonesia, my place, where they have blocked several major services such as PayPal, Steam, and Epic Games. Sucks a lot! But how can I access them back? Well, you came to the right place. Welcome to TaxPlay. Hello everyone, and today I'll talk about one of the ways to access block services or site by using this trick, changing your DNS. In this video, you learn all about changing your DNS, from the basics of DNS to all the different ways you can change it. Without further ado, let's get to our desktop. Okay, we're on our desktop now, and yeah, first of all, I'm sorry for the bad quality of the screen recording. This is sadly the only monitor I have right now and it's barely in 720p resolution so you have to bear with the low pixels. But anyway, let's get into the basics of what is a DNS. Now, I won't get into full details on what it is. However, if you want to, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss it when I upload that video. But basically, a DNS or domain name system is the phone book of the internet where it will get you the correct IP address needed when you're trying to access a website using the domain name like youtube.com which is really handy. Not only that, the DNS uses the recursive name server typically operated by your ISP but that's the problem. Your ISP is the one blocking access to some address like steel. However, good news, you don't need to use their server. Instead, you can use public own DNS servers from Google, Cloudflare, or other organization. Now, this is where the tutorial starts, as now we know that we can change our passkey ISP server to a public one, which of course will bypass the blockage yeah, set by the government. Now, there are several ways you can do it. The first one, and probably the easiest one, is by changing the DNS server used on your browser, which here I'll be using Google Chrome as an example since a lot of people use it. Now first off, you have to open your browser, of course, but first let me demonstrate that these sites are blocked. Let's try Steam and Reddit which as you can see it won't load up. Oh. So to fix this, go to your top right and click that three dot. Then you can go to your settings, which here it's in Indonesian, but just click that and choose the private and security tab on your left. Now pick the security option and scroll down until you see something about DNS. Here you can turn it on if you haven't and choose the second option, where you can pick which public server you want to use. Here I'll use Cloudflare. Now let's try it again, reload the page, and boom, it loads almost instantly. Wow! But sadly, this method will not work if you try to access the Steam or Epic Games launcher on your desktop, which as you can see, it won't load as the last method is only changing the browser's DNS. So to fix this, you can go to your network settings on your PC, which I'm currently using Windows 10, but it should be pretty similar for other versions, and now all you gotta do is go to networks and sharing center and then click on the local area connection or LAN. After that, go to properties and choose the IPv4 option, then properties again. Now, you can choose this option and put in the DNS server you want to use. Here, I'll put 1111 and 1001 for the alternate. And yeah, click OK and boom, you're done and ready to play most of the time. Well, alright, for some rare cases like me, which as you can see, it still won't load. So the third way to do this is by using an app to change your DNS, such as CloudFireWap and Simple DNS Script. Both works fine, but the Simple DNS Script just works better for me for some reason. So all you gotta do is download the app from the official site, which the link is below the yeah, like what? button, and go choose the appropriate version according to your computer and just go ahead and install it. After it's done, just open Open the app and this is the starting screen. All you gotta do now is turn on the DNS script service right 
here and click on your network card which here I'm using Ethernet and that should do it. Now this is optional but you can also pick the DNS you want to use by going to resolvers and picking one of these. Now let's try to load Epic Games again and boom I'm in boys so easy right? With these tricks you can finally access back your favorite sites and services like nothing happened. But yeah let's just pass the mic to the studio me. So what do you think? about this tutorial did it work and is it easy enough to follow let me know in the comments okay that's all the notes i got for today i hope this video can help you understand more on how to change your dns software to bypass yeah, the block so this is the end of the video thanks for watching and hit that like button don't forget to come back next week for more knowledge about tech and subscribe so you won't miss it all right Peace out.